Namaskar I am Shion I welcome you to the bread of life let us look to the holy bible second kings chapter 25 verse 8 to 30 the main idea of the day is the last hope in the fifth month on the seventh day of the month that was the 19th year of king nebuchadnezzar king of babylon nebuzaradan the captain of the bodyguard a servant of the king of babylon came to Jerusalem and he burned the house of the Lord and the king's house and all the houses of Jerusalem every great house he burned down and all the army of Chaldeans who were with the captain of the guard broke down the walls around Jerusalem and the rest of the people who were left in the city and the deserters who had deserted to the king of Babylon together with the rest of the multitude nabuzaradan the captain of the guard carried into exile but the captain of the guard left some of the poorest of the land to be wine dressers and plow men and in the 37th year of the exile of jehoiakim king of judah in the 12th month on the 27th day of the month evil merodach king of babylon in the year that he began to reign graciously freed jehoiakim king of judah from prison and he spoke kindly to him and gave him a seat above the seats of the kings who were with him in babylon so jehoiakim put off his prison garments and every day of his life he dined regularly at the king's table and for his allowance a regular allowance was given him by the king according to his da- daily needs as long as he lived let's understand the word of god israel's two kingdoms were both destroyed the northern kingdom israel fell under assyria and the southern kingdom judah fell under babylon the palace and the temple in jerusalem were burned and the walls were torn down by the Babylonian army the beautiful city of Jerusalem became desolate once God left it Israel which preferred idols over God was faced with destruction but this was not the end God remembered his promise of love for Israel he released king Jehoiakim from prison and removed his prison clothes Even in his anger God did not forget his people. May the Lord bless us with his holy word. Let's pray and practice. Dear God, thank you for your beautiful words. Please help us not to fall in despair but to hope in your love and goodness. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Mm-hmm.